Hello beautiful people, today we will be working on the one-legged crow pose, Ekapara Bekasana. I'm going to be working with my friend Vanessa Belumar. So first exercise is on the basu ball. You basically bring one knee towards an elbow and then you try getting a little hop with your basu ball. You could do something similar with a trampoline. Uh, there's going to be a lot of weight bearing on the hands, so try and warm up the wrists beforehand. Another exercise you can do is with gliders. You basically glide one knee towards one elbow and then you switch. Don't forget to do both sides, even though you'll probably be more prominent on one side. Another thing is you can TRX it. You can bring your feet into the TRX and bring your knees towards your chest, both at the same time or one at a time. Or you could do one at a time, then both at the same time. You choose. If you're in a gym environment, you can even use weights. So get straps and put it at 10, 20 pounds and bring the knee towards your, uh, your elbow. You could use a bench, lift up one leg at a time, or bring your knee towards your uh, elbow. Anything that brings your knee towards your elbow in kind of a compromising way, but healthy way, but that challenges you is great. You can use a trampoline, bring both knees towards your uh, triceps, or legs up straight, as straight as possible, almost as if you're trying to do a planche. Then you can also use a Swiss ball and similar exercises, yeah? knee towards the triceps. These are all like different exercises to try and get at the same goal. So this is my amazing friend Vanessa. She's trying her one-legged crow pose. You can use a block to spot your head. Most people are weary because they don't want to fall on their head or their face. So use a block to start up. Then once you're ready, you do the full one-legged uh, crow pose. Do your best. It might take you some weeks or months before getting into this pose. That's it. Namaste.